Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our topic for this week is about the Floriani Rainbow software, which um, is actually a standalone program uh, that you may or may not have added to your you know, regular Floriani software. And so in today's video, we'll learn um, what it does, how you can use it, and I'll also show you how you can uh, try it out um, using your demo mode in the Floriani software. And so let's go ahead and bring my works uh, software nice and big. And um, so first of all, the tool is found up at the top. It's this one right here. It's got the label that says rainbow and it looks like kind of a rainbow going around a circle. Um, it's right beside the color play tool, which is a different tool we'll, we'll learn about in a different video. But the rainbow tool currently is dim or gray. And that means um, I would need to do something before I can use it. Um, in other words, I need to select what I want to color you know, in the rainbow colors. And then now the tool becomes available. And when you click on it, a window opens up that allows you to interact with whatever you've selected. And so in our case, we selected the word Floriani. And notice that it's coming up in the alligator color theme. And you can choose any different color theme that you want to. These are all pre-made color themes that kind of came with the software and you can just click to try them on and then if you love you know how they look you simply say okay and it will insert all of those colors into your embroidery design and so um notice that i purposely made the word floriani and rainbow and software three separate tech segments so that i could do you know different color patterns on each one of them and so if i click on i now have software selected if I start up my rainbow tool, um, it'll come up with whatever one I used last, you know, the Neapolitan. Uh, if I wanted to do, you know, more like traditional rainbow colors, there's a rainbow pattern in here. I could use that one. Um, but I can also make my own. Uh, see where it says new? If you click new, you get to give it a name. I'm just going to call it test and click OK. And so now it starts a new one and it just gives you two colors to start, you know, blue and red. And you can decide, you know, where the color marks go. So you can have more blue and less red or the opposite have, you know, less blue and more red. And you can add new colors to it. If I click right here, it'll add a new color stop and I can select any of the color stops and change their color values by just clicking on the in the color palette below. And of course, the color palette below is based on the Floriani polyester thread. Uh, unless you choose it, uh, a different color palette. So you can use this tool to create uh, color themes with any brand of thread that you own and um, you can save them, you know. So now I can click save and this will be always available to me, you know, the blue, pink, red one. Um, and so that's kind of fun like that. And you just say, okay, to update um, how it works. So uh, a few more things that I can show you about Rainbow. Um, first of all, um, if I click on uh, any one of the shapes that already has the rainbow properties and then click back on the tool, I can kind of edit them. So if I decided I didn't like, you know, the way I chose it or what I chose, I could choose a different one, you know, and, and update it to be whichever colors that I want to and um, say, OK, so. And I could also remove it, you know, if, if you wanted to just get rid of the colors altogether. So now I select uh, the word or, you know, part of my design and I click back on the tool and I can change this back to none. And that's going to remove all the color stops and make it back to just a, a single color stop, you know, part of your design. So I said you could try it if you don't um, already own it. And to do that, you would click on your help drop down menu. Uh, where you'll find your demo mode. Uh, it's right below the license activator. And this is, by the way, uh, if you were to ever go into a Floriani store and purchase the Rainbow program, you would use your license activator uh, to activate it. You know, there'll be a drop down list, and, you know, whatever programs you own become available from this drop down list. And so that's how you would activate it. But um, in the help menu, if I choose demo mode, Demo mode brings up the option to try any programs that you don't own. You can try Total Quilter, you know, Rainbow, Lettering Master, Sketch a Stitch. Um, the first two is Fusion, and Fusion with the upgrade equals FTCU. So if I uncheck Total Quilter 
and I uncheck lettering master and I uncheck sketch a stitch and I just leave the first two plus rainbow, that's like FTCU with the rainbow added, you know, and if you check them all off, it's kind of like trying it out like my, mine is the universal bundle or in other words, AKA all of the Floriani programs that there are. So there's um, that if I was to say, okay, it would actually kind of like close and reopen my software and I would go into what's known as demo mode, which means I won't be able to save or print. Um, but I can try all the functions. And then um, when you close it and then reopen it again, it goes back to whatever you have activated. So that's how you can try it if you want to. Um, if you visit the RNK Software Club's website, um, there's not a banner for Rainbow on the homepage. However, if you uh, see where it says more, if you click there, this is all of the different programs. And now you'll find that there is a banner for Floriani Rainbow. Um, and so once I select that, now I can learn all about Floriani Rainbow. I can watch the training videos about Floriani Rainbow or access the user manual and that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, we think that Rainbow is a ton of fun and you'd probably really love to have it. If you don't have the Rainbow software, it is totally possible to insert color stops into your designs. It's just in a more manual way. You know, you can take your uh, slow redraw tool and bring it to any, you know, part in, you know, place in the design and click on the stop tool. Uh, to insert a stop, but that, you know, that will um, kind of separate the word into two parts and then you can easily click on a different color for the second part. So it's totally possible to use the stop tool to interact with your designs, but then notice that that's very different um, because now my text is no longer a text segment. It's kind of been separated into what's known as stitches. Um, whereas when I had the rainbow tool, I could still click on the word rainbow and still click on the rainbow tool and, you know, either remove it and or change it to be a new and different kind of color palette and then just click OK. So the one thing I didn't show you that um, is also really interesting and just remembering now is how to blend colors. And so let's click on it one more time. And uh, this time uh, we'll say new to create a new color theme. Uh, so I'll just call this test two. And then um, notice here the button that says blend. So if I ask it to blend, uh, it's either on the left side or the right side or both sides. And it's either one or two kind of like color stops. But what it'll do is it will insert, um, you know, four up to five, four color stops in between the blue and the red. So and then watch what happens if I... I'm going to move the red over here and then click to add another color and I'll make that other color be, let's say pink and notice that it automatically adds in the color blending, you know, so this could be, uh, for example, three shades of blue. So I will take the pink in the middle and convert it into like a medium blue and then take the pink on the left and convert that into a light blue. And notice what we've created now is a color profile that has probably cut 12 different color stops um, shading from like a dark blue through a medium blue into a light blue. And so we could click save so that we always had that cool color palette of blue, you know, shades of blue and um, click OK to apply it. So yeah, it's great for color blending and it's just great for just auditioning cool colors. And so once again, I hope you enjoyed this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. Until next week, thanks for listening and bye for now.